The fact that I even made it to this point is just so incredible to me. I said five and a half years ago, I'm going to law school, I'm going to be a lawyer. If you knew me, you'd probably be like, yeah, okay, zombie, that's funny. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana, if you're new here, and I am a law school graduate, officially. Well, I didn't technically have my graduation yet, but yesterday I took my last law school final ever, and now me and my co-star this week are headed to Florida to visit our dad and to have a long week of rest and relaxation. I wish my honey was coming, but we're going to New Hampshire at the end of this month, so we'll have plenty of time to relax together then. Then it's our bar prep and uh, no one will see me for two months. Anyway, so we are arriving to the airport now and we will see you guys in Florida. About to surprise my dad. Yay. He just landed, but he knows I'm coming, but he doesn't know that she's coming. So, should be interesting. Go on this side. Hey guys, so we are just lounging today. It's Sunday, I am so tired, I have a headache and my sister did not let me sleep in. So that's how this relaxation trip is going. Yeah, we haven't actually like spent the week together in a long time. So this should be a definitely an interesting dynamic, but I just plan on laying on this float literally all day long so if that changes I will update you guys but I don't think it's going to cheers <laughs> cute Shein three-piece bikini ensemble. These are the bottoms. Super, super cute. I think this is one of the cheapest bathing suits I own. I need to get some caffeine in my system, so let's go outside to the pool and just chill. My sister's already up and she was very nice this morning and did not wake me and let me sleep till like 9.30, 9.45, so I woke up in a good mood today. So that's the start. And... Yeah, so let's go. Good morning, guys. Oh, here's my sister. We haven't really been vlogging the last couple of days because literally all I've been doing is laying in the pool and it's been fabulous. Yesterday was probably the first day that I actually felt fully relaxed and like came down from my finals anxiety. So that was nice because we got here on Saturday and Sunday. I had a excruciating headache the entire day that just like did not give up. Um, so yesterday when I woke up, I finally did not have a headache. I slept well and yeah, so I am getting my tan on and we're probably gonna go to the beach today. So I will vlog that so we can get a little change of scenery going on. 
and yeah so we'll see you at the beach waiting for the SpaceX rocket to launch because we'll be able to see it from here so maybe I'll be able to film it so I'll let you know in a minute. excited I got this from Revolve and it's literally perfect <laughs> I was like perfect post law school graduation vacay bathing suit so we are going to the Everglades to do a airboat ride and my sister has been dying to do this I'm kind of nervous but you know we'll have fun hmm I need to drink so in case I get eaten by a gator at least I'll go out with a glass of champagne. Are you ready Noel? Yes. myself a little water over here it's really hot not like anything's changed it's been really hot the entire time I'm gonna have to go inside and get the water that I want my dad got me these like caffeinated seltzers which I'm obsessed I've never had them before I didn't even know that was a thing so I'm gonna go get one because it's hot and then I will talk to you guys a little bit because I feel like I have been talking really this vlog about just like how I'm feeling post finals and being done with law school officially and it's been you know almost a week since I submitted my last actually wait it's been a week it's Friday and last Friday I submitted my last final so it's been a week so I guess we'll do some thoughts and I'll let you know like where my head is at and I'm also reading I downloaded this book which one of my followers on TikTok told me about called The Zen of Passing the Bar Exam, I think it's called. But anyway, it's on my iPad, so I am reading that and I, I'm only like a couple pages in and I'm obsessed. So I'll talk a little bit about that as well. But let me go get my water because it's like 12.15 and I have a spa appointment with my stepsister at her salon. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along for that as well. I'm gonna get dermal planned and have a really, really nice facial, so can't wait. My dad just brought me a watermelon. Yum. Mm. Very good. Very sweet. Just how I like it. So, hmm. so how am I feeling a week out from finishing finals? Well, I'm obviously enjoying myself 
taking a minute to relax and get back to feeling like a normal human being, although I probably won't be feeling like that in a few weeks. Once I start setting for the bar exam, I'm gonna start feeling like a crazy lunatic again, but I can only live in the moment. So right now I am a normal person on vacation. Just a normal person that is graduating law school. Everything just feels surreal to me at this point. And I don't think I'm gonna actually feel like I'm a lawyer until I take the bar and I pass and I'm an attorney. Cause technically I'm a lawyer right now, but I'm not an attorney until I pass the bar exam and get a job. So I'm not worrying about that though. I'll worry about the job search. When I get back from Santorini, I have to plan my graduation party. I ordered my invitations and that's pretty much all I did for the party so far. So I have a lot of freaking work to do when I get home. But how am I feeling overall? Well, my best friends from law school got to go to our in-person graduation ceremony yesterday and I wasn't there, but they didn't tell us about this until I they didn't tell us about this until after I already booked my trip here and I wasn't going to cut my trip short with my dad and my sister just to go and stand at my law school campus by myself. I mean with my friends, but I'm gonna have all of my family with me and my boyfriend on, which she's basically family at this point, I guess, on Sunday, oh, two Sundays from now. We're having our virtual graduation still and I'm gonna be able to sit with them, watch it and celebrate with them at my aunt's house. So that's enough for me, honestly. I really don't need that walking across the stage experience. I think it would have been, a, it would have been nice, but there's nothing I could do about that. And you just kind of have to live in the moment and appreciate everybody's health. And the fact that I even made it to this point is just so, incredible to me that I'm going to be with all of my loved ones on that day and I'm going to be popping Dom Perry on like mm, that's good I'm going to have a good time I it's, listen things could be much worse so I am a happy camper regardless of whether or not we had I went to an in-person graduation or not as far as my final thoughts on law school and how my last finals season went I'm satisfied I think I gave it my all towards the end when maybe you would feel less motivation because you're like oh I'm almost done why do I need to be doing this but I wanted to keep the momentum going especially because I'm going to have to study for the bar exam within the next few weeks so it's not like I'm done done and I wanted to keep my study habits on point I don't know how I did I never know how I do on these exams. I want to talk just for like a couple seconds about the book that I'm reading. So the book is called The Zen of Passing the Bar Exam. And I have it linked on my Amazon shop under bar prep, but I will put it in the link. I will put the link in the description box below. So you have easy access. It's not expensive at all. The Kindle version I think was like $14. And if you want to get the hard copy, it's $19 I believe it's only 120 something pages so it will definitely be a quick it will definitely be a quick read once I actually get into it I have been doing other things and I don't really want to be sitting on this float with it because my iPad has like a felt back on the case and I don't want to get it wet but I'll probably read it on the plane tomorrow night and I'll let you know my full thoughts but right now I'm already obsessed because I'm the type of person that truly believes about manifesting the life that you want and if you put that energy out there you're going to get it I have been I said five and a half years ago I'm going to law school I'm gonna be a lawyer if you knew me or didn't know me back then and or you just knew me as like an acquaintance you'd probably be like yeah okay dumb B that's funny um except I put that energy out there I set goals for myself and I did it 
and not once did I think I can't do this. Not once did I think I'm not going to get a great score on the LSAT. Not once did I think I'm not going to get into law school. I had doubts here and there, but the majority of the time, there was no, oh my God, this isn't going to happen. I did have a backup plan, but it wasn't necessary. But I like to make sure that everything, like I have all the options laid out there. I'm not the type of person that's just gonna live life on a whim either. So with that said, the book, it teaches you this type of thought process similar to Buddhism and that's where it draws the inspiration from. I've only gotten through the first couple of pages so I can't really say too much about the book, but so far it's saying that what I think is to manifest that you're going to pass and say every day, I'm going to pass the bar exam. And when you need to study, don't say I have to study. We have this privilege as law school graduates to be able to take this exam. And it is indeed a privilege. It's not a right. And people who don't get into law school, people who don't graduate, people that have, you know, get kicked out, don't make it through the first year, those students don't have the opportunity to sit for the bar exam. So you need to say, today I'm going to study. Like, it's just a part of your life. And that's how I've lived over the past five years of preparing for this, for this moment, actually. I never once felt like studying was a chore. I enjoy it, I enjoy school, and I think that's just how you have to have your mindset for this exam as well. And for everybody who's always asked me, oh, how do you find the motivation to study all the time? Or how do you wake up every day and continue to be so motivated? You don't need to, you, you can't look at studying as a chore or as a, I, ugh, I have to do this, I have to study today. Like, ugh, no, it's just you wake up and I'm gonna study today, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna use some of my new supplies. I'm gonna do some review questions so I can be a lawyer, I can make good money and live an amazing life. So those are my thoughts, okay? This has been a long tangent and I don't wanna bore you to death, but I don't know, sometimes you guys say you like me talking, so maybe you do, maybe you don't, but thank you for listening regardless. I'm going to continue to tan for another half hour or so and then get ready to go get my facial and I will see you at Ariel's salon. so I look a little not like super red but I got dermaplaned so I have no more hair on my hairy face <laughs> you can't I don't know if you can see but my eyelashes I ended up getting an impromptu lash lift and I am obsessed oh we could do this looks like I have literally looks like I have mascara on and I don't there you go. I could say I woke up like this this is all the crap that was in my face like are you serious <laughs> And this is what came off my face. Very hairy. I guess that's my sideburns and just hair on my chin and shit. But yeah, and just dirt, dead skin. It's normal to have a little bit of redness after this um, treatment. I'm not the professional, but. <laughs> this is my second time getting dermaplaned by Ariel, so I wouldn't trust anybody else, honestly, touching my face which is why I have come to Florida specifically to get this done. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, yeah, there are, I'm sure, plenty of great salons near me in Westchester. Not like I live in Bumblefuck, but when you find somebody that does a really good job, there's really no point in like trying to find somebody else and like going through that effort and I'm not going to do that. So if you live in the Orlando, Melbourne beach area, I highly recommend you checking her out because you're not gonna find anybody else like her down here, especially she's come from New York. So she's moved down here how long ago? 
when, almost a year. Almost a year ago. So she has her own gorgeous little studio here. And uh, I'll put the address and everything in the description box below if you are ever in Florida or you live in Florida so you know where to find her. And I also will link her Instagram and website, which has all her services and everything on there so you guys can check it out. It's actually pretty early. It's already 10. I mean, it's only 10 and we're at the beach. Who would have thought? I've been getting up pretty early. I have some past... Are you laughing? I've been up at 6 a.m. every she day. Did. That's all right. Well, that's like too much. I'm not doing that. I'm relaxing. But for me, getting up when I don't have school or anything, getting up before 10 a.m. is pretty good, I would say. I don't know. She's on another level. Also, it's probably... Excited to be here, yes. It's her first time in Florida ever, which is crazy to me. But I'm happy to bring her on her first trip, so. Sister, sister. Yeah, we had a nice sister trip and we're leaving tonight, unfortunately. But it was a nice week and I am blessed to say that I've spent three weeks of 2021 in Florida and it's only May, so. God bless. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this gorgeous beach day, get down into my Elwood's bikini and just soak up the sun for the remaining hours that we have here. Our flight's on until seven o'clock tonight, so we have to plenty of time. here. Thank you for joining me on my first week post finals in Florida. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.